Hi, Mark Anthony here to show you the easy way to make French toast. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is get my pan fired up here because we wanna get that baby warmed up. And uh, then we're going to make our batter. Now, the batter is really easy because we're doing all vegan. This is an all vegan French toast. And all I've got here is some tofu. We can add a little bit of vanilla. And you can see how I'm not even measuring anything and it's still gonna come out great. Cinnamon, you can just put a little bit of cinnamon in there. This is actually pumpkin pie spice, and I just got some fresh pumpkin pie spice, so I figured I'd throw some of that in there, and that will really help the flavor. And then we just hit it with some soy milk. And just like that. Now once you've eyeballed this, we'll have to see if we need to add more milk to it, but I don't wanna overdo the milk, so we'll start with this. Okay, that looks like about just the right consistency that I'm looking for. And we're gonna put this in a, I like using a square pan. Uh, round pans are fine, but it's gotta be something that is flat because you're gonna want to put the uh, bread in there. Actually right here what I have is a sourdough, a loaf of sourdough bread. And we're gonna cut off some slices. I like using this, a lot of restaurants use the Texas toast and, and it's a little more challenging and there's chemicals and you never know what's going to be in that. So, and the nice part about getting bread like this is you can actually determine what the thicknesses of your slices are going to be. So that's kind of a big plus when it comes to uh, making French toast. So we're going to take this and let's get a little oil in our pan. One of the little tricks about oil when it comes to French toast is that you're gonna use more oil for French toast than you do pancakes. Pancakes, you want a real thin, thin coating, uh, but for French toast, you're gonna need to add more oil. So it's just kind of the way it works, um, <clears throat> which is one of the reasons why I stay away from the French toast in the restaurants, because you don't know what they're using for oil. I'm actually just using some extra virgin olive oil right here. And you'll see how I do this. I'm just using the bread we're just gonna give this a nice coating. And then you can actually get as much of that coating off of there as you want as well. And then we'll put it right in there like that. Get that baby fired up. And we have French toast, good to go. Yeah, sometimes in the restaurants, let me tell you, they'll actually use fryer oil as their oil for, this is used beat up fryer oil and they will use that uh, for their different frying concepts. Now, I never did that in my places, but uh, I know places that do. And uh, so this is that easy. And another thing you can always do, uh, sometimes you'll see those little sprinkles, and you can also put specks on it like this, and it gives it a, a little definition with the, um, the visual appeal here. So that's always a good way to go. And just like that, we're gonna let this cook. And you can see how I kind of shuffle the pan a little bit because I need this baby cooking. And uh, this is only gonna take a couple minutes. Uh, uh, once you get it cooking a little bit, we're just gonna give this baby a flip. And look at that, we've already got a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, French toast. Sometimes you might wanna give it a little drizzle around the outsides like this in order to get underneath, if, you, if it's already sucked up the other bit of oil, uh, you'll wanna do that. So just like that, I'm telling you, it is that easy to make a gourmet French toast. So your whole concepts are, use your soy milk and your tofu to create your batter, add some flavor, get the flavors you want, and use a good bread that's not going to be sucking up all of the moisture and being an, a soggy item. You want something that's a lot more firm and you'll get a lot better French toast. Okay, and once you have it there, we can actually put it and give it a little slice here. And 
make a nice presentation here by giving it a little bit of a flare. And just like that, you've got a vegan French toast.